Hello, my name is Shamaya Tatum. I am a junior journalism and math communication student with a concentration in public relations, and I am a Blue Squad cheerleader at North Carolina a t State University. Um, well, I started cheerleading when I was a little girl. I did like cheer um, America, and I cheered at Windsor Center in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, after that, I didn't really get into it until I got to middle school because I don't know. I just knew that I loved cheerleading and I wanted to like be seen and be social. So I got into it. And as I progressed, I learned to love it and I just love what I do. So it's fun. <laughs> um, definitely like not in the same sense like when you transfer from high school to college but it's still definitely very competitive you know in college of course you have to obtain an image so it's not more so like oh we about to battle it's more so like my program is grand you might have a great program but your program isn't my program you know like oh, right. Um, outside of like the social aspect, you really are like a role model to little girls. You know, you may not notice until you do like an event like over homecoming. We had an event with um, the child Devel development lab on campus and the little girls like they had on their little cheerleading uniforms and they were like, oh, my God, can I hold the pom poms? Not even only the little girls, the little boys, too. So it's like they're really looking up to us, you know, and like the parade and at the game, everyone loves the cheerleaders. When we come through everybody wants to take pictures you know we really have an impact on the community you know so we have to like I said obtain the image and also let people know that it is a great program not just like oh we're pretending but it really is a great program What's this? Um, <laughs> I mean I don't know like you run into your people who don't really aren't really fans of the program, but then you run into people who actually really love it. Like we get backlash, but it's people who actually really love it and people who want to be a part of it. Incoming freshmen who reach out, reach out to us on social media with questions and things like that. So, I mean, it's pretty grand if you ask me, cause like I said, you still get the, the experience and you still get to be seen because everybody knows that a t being the number one HBCU has a cheerleading team. Everyone knows what the cheerleaders are. Everyone knows what the band is. So it's just like, kind of goes hand in hand. <laughs> so, practices can be very intriguing. Um, if you ever plan on trying out, what I can say to do is run. Because that's all that we do, literally. Um, exercising is very important because, like, a game is really longer than what people may seem. Like, when you're watching, it doesn't seem longer. Down at the 11 yard line. We have to have that body shape, that body fitness to be able to maintain that energy, finaling, the jumping, the flipping, the stunting. Like, it's really a lot behind the scenes. You know, you're going to fall. Somebody might fall on you. <laughs> you know, you might get a few bruises, a few scratches, but it just comes along with building that sisterhood within the team and also becoming a better person. Like, it's bigger than just a sport people may say like it's really with becoming a better person um yeah i would probably look into that like if someone reached out to me or if i if i saw a available opportunity um but after college i do plan to like move out of state like i don't want to stay here but as i progress in my field because i do want to have my own tv show and be an actress and be a news reporter be on the radio like it's many things that i want to do but as i progress i want to get back to not only my high school but back to ant as well in the cheerleading program here